What's up, YouTube? Today I'm gonna be going over how to change the oil in your GY6 scooter. Assuming you have a 50cc, 80cc, big board kit, whatever you call it. Me, myself, I got a 150. And the oil in which I chose is Castro GTX, high mileage. Not sponsored or anything, but this is what I run with. All the way down to my car, so just good. All right, so the things you're gonna need. Something to drain your oil into. This right here, I got two measuring cups. They are a half a cup and a third of a cup, as you see, 120 and 80. That's gonna give me 200 right there. You will see why in a second. I got my funnel. I got an extension, 17 millimeter. You'll need for both of the oil plugs. There are two on here, a ratchet. Got a drill and of course, your oil. Now, let's get to work. Just chilling on the bed. You think about doing some wheelies, bud? <laughs> All right, so first, let's see. I'm gonna put this up under here. Your first drain plug is going to be on the left side of the bike, up under the motor right there. I'm gonna put this 17 millimeter on it. And that's extension. Let's see, I've already broken this bolt. So that's the reason I'm putting this gun on it. Do not try and take these things off with a gun. I don't wanna see nobody snap them. Break the bolt first. And try not to drop it in the pan like I just did. I lost it and the washer. That oil was black. Oh my God. This bike was well overdue for oil change. And I'm gonna have to fish that washer up. Whoops. I'll be back after that's done. Be sure to follow on Instagram. You know, it's my private page. This is my stunt bike, by the way. I call it Lana Lane. It's a tow, tow, tail, tail, whatever anybody wants to call it. VIP 150cc. Hey, yo, a trick I learned too. In order to get all the oil out the bike, I have it on the third stand back here and the second stand right there. And I have it tilted off of the back wheel. That way, Susie. Guard cat checking to be sure I've done everything right. That way you drain all the oil out the motor though. So I forgot to film it on camera, but I'm gonna show you guys where this other oil plug is. And you should also drain it and check this one for all your metal shaving. All right, the other oil plug is gonna be on the right side of the bike. If you follow your dipstick tube right here and go down, is right here and when you undo this screw it's going to come out with like a little cone filter and a spring be sure you watch the orientation when it's coming out and put the spring back in there the same way just gotta sit back and look at the bike for a sec all right all right okay so the reason I got these two measuring cups, you got 120 milliliters right here, 80, 80 mils right there. I'm gonna add both of them together. 120 plus 80, that gives me 200 mils right here. Oh, my bad. They had a camera over here. Yeah, 120 plus 80 gives me the 200. Now the reason I'm trying to find this 200 is because the scooter only needs 
750. This bottle right here has 946. So that brings me to this little piece of math right here. 946 subtract 200 gives me 746. I'm not gonna pour an entire of one of these, but I'm gonna leave enough in order to supplement for the four milliliters right here and still make it 750. Okay, now that I emptied out a little under 200 mils of oil, that gives me just about 750 mils in the bottle itself. So now I can proceed to pour in the whole bottle inside the bike. Okay, now I'm pouring in the oil. Take your time, don't rush. You don't want to fill it up too fast. Have everything all over the floor or wherever your workspace is. And this is to an oil change. You're still recording, aren't you? Let me in on your oil bottle. Cool. Oh, be sure before you do any work to your scooter, you unplug your battery, you know. You don't want to damage any electronics, you know, doing an oil change, so unplug your battery. Yeah. That way everything runs proper whenever you... That's where the extra horsepower comes from. It's all right there. Oh, hello. It's a wild cat. That's it. Voila. How to do a GY6 oil change.